Hello. We're back again. Thanks for joining us. My name's Fiona. This is Daniel. Hello. We do have another guest down the bottom. Mitch, you can't see him yet. Can you see my hand? You can see him a little bit. Yeah. Got a little couch. So we're back playing Coffee Talk Part 2. It's been a long time. According to the last save, it was the 30th of January, January. which is before all of this stuff it's that happened before this year. Before COVID and everything. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, playing Coffee Talk. Um, it's by Toge Productions. We spoke to one of the developers, Chris... I was going to say Anthony. It is Anthony. Anthony? Chris Anthony. Yep. There we go. I cannot pronounce anything. On episode 139, so if you want to know more about the game, jump back onto our website and you can watch the episode. Otherwise, I think we should just jump straight into it. Oh, now, have you noticed we're wearing aprons? Yeah. Fiona, you've got the official yes. Coffee Talk apron. Big thanks to, to Sarah from Togo Productions. I met her in Boston and I got a. Seriously, apron. Sarah, I want one of those. <laughs> I would like to purchase one. Mitch has spoken. There we go. Now you can see Mitch. She's down hey, the corner. Mitch hey, is, I'm on the couch. Mitch's apron matches the, the couch that he's on. Oh, it does yeah. too. Yeah. It was meant to be. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's Let, pretty good. Let's yeah, so jump in. Viv. Uh, one of our writers on Pixel Sif actually made me this a couple of years ago. Oh, Beautiful. she made that? Yeah, she made it. Oh, that's yeah. cool. It's a pretty cool apron. She's been knitting a whole bunch of stuff lately. Yeah, if you then... check her out on Insta. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> there's so much patience there. I just realized it's not my camera, my other my other camera back up again. Wait, so if I'm I gonna... look at you, I'm actually looking at you there. Oh, right? really? Am I? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we are. Nice. Hey, nice. Camera positioning. Look at that. All right, I can't, I can't see the um, monitor, so I'm just going to take your word for it. Yeah, no, we can no, see. It looks good. It looks All good. Right, I'll be right back. Okay. So, Dave Barista. Dave Barista. Ah, here right. we go. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, we have a whole backstory for the person yes. that runs the coffee shop. I can only remember a little bit, but it started off that he's a trust, trust fund, fund kid. Yep. And doubles as Spider-Man because he said your friendly neighborhood. Dave Barista. Barista. <laughs> yes. So he also doubles as Spider-Man. But then he runs this coffee shop of a night time. But he has a family at home, but they don't know that he runs the coffee yeah. shop. So he sneaks out of a night to yeah, run it. to run the coffee shop. I feel like there's a little bit more, but that's all I can remember. They're like the main points. We'll create the rest yeah. as we go on. We'll create a new backstory. Well, I'll continue it. I like how I can run from this side. And then I'm like, over here now. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> You're on two cameras yeah, at two once. Of them. Hey, it's too much. That's kind Continuity. of Continuity. That's kind like, of neat. We're making Avengers movies, Duh. except for one. I'd watch Let's it. Let's go. Oh. oh. Nothing happened. Oh. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. Are we just going to make an Avengers of Pixel Sif? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Who would you be? Continue. Who would I be? I don't know. Jeez. That's a tough question. I Hawkeye. would be... Hawkeye. Oh, you'd be Hawkeye? <laughs> yeah, because no one wants to be Hawkeye. I would be... Hawkeye's pretty cool, but then he just gets really sad and goes to ja Japan for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a weeb. <laughs> Yeah. Who would you be, Mitch? I would be Mickey Rock. <laughs> I want my bird. <laughs> <laughs> I want my bird. I want my bird. Oh, in that case, I'll, I'll be I'll be Scourge. Oh, you'd be Scourge? Scourge. Yeah. Be yeah. Be yeah. My stuff. <laughs> nice. Best character. Uh, anyway, it's Aqua. Aquafina. I'm from the nice. ocean. Freya, oh. that's right. Oh, I, I don't couldn't remember, remember names. Freya. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic, born and raised in the sea. Oh, hey, have we got a message on our phone? <laughs> this is all coming back to me. Oh, uh, that's right. Georgie. We have a yep. better relationship with Georgie than we do Freya. Well, Georgie's cool. Gala. And I feel like Freya's still kind of mysterious. Oh, that's the werewolf guy. Yeah. Lua. she the succubus? Is she? I don't know. She I don't remember. <laughs> Is Bailey's. this the artist dude? Freelance designer. Pumpkin spice fan. Yeah. Hide. Model. Oh, he's the vampire. Vegan vampire. <laughs> Myrtle. Oh, she's the game, the game designer. developer. Yeah. We yeah, like yeah, her. Yeah. Rachel. Oh, she's Was she the, the pop star. The pop star. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And, and Aqua. Then Aquafina. <laughs> that's, that's. And she's it. a researcher. Okay. Friends only. Close friends only. Okay. Cool. So. Oh, she's so she's R and D. At a university in Seattle. Seattle. Brew pad. Let us see what our brew is. Cough oh, nice. syrup. Oh, yeah, cough we, syrup? We've got a lot oh, nice. that we haven't discovered. Dude, green, hun green tea and honey, which is actually hilarious because that's actually what I'm drinking at the moment. I bought it. Link in description. Green... No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> We're not sponsored. sponsored. <laughs> green tea and honey is actually really nice. Russian tea. Russian. 
that is quite good. Despite the name, it's totally an American drink. Yeah. Fortune cookies are Fortune. hollow on the inside <laughs> and made out of lies. <laughs> Just like America. Oh, God. Dude, when he said that Amer- a fortune cookie is Oh, I changed my mind. I want to be him. <laughs> you want to be him? Yeah, what's just olé, the fake Mandarin. Olé, olé, olé. The fake Mandarin. <laughs> so, I'm an actor, Trevor. Tre- is that his name, Trevor? I'm pretty sure it's Trevor. I think it is. I'm an Trevor. actor. Is it, yeah, his name is Trevor, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Best uh, MCU Ben character. Kingsley. Amazing. <laughs> Born and raised in the sea. I feel like I was going to say something and I don't remember what it was now. It doesn't matter. I bet it was a sea pun. Probably was. Why did you move here? When? Why did? Yeah, okay, that was right. <laughs> Aqua, chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? No. I'm the only one who could move here. Why are they actual fish? Man, no why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a US visa? It, one thing I really like about this game is that it's so, like, in some ways true to our society now, but it's just in a fantasy sort of thingy. Mm, yeah. Like with the whole visas and moving and stuff. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. So we do video call, they Zoom at least they once zoom. a week. Do you have siblings? Of course. We are sick people. Makes sense the family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa. Seattle? Oh. There we go, that's one. Wow, that's a lot. You really have that many relatives. He he he. Of course not. I was just exaggerating. Oh. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. That's... Holy little squiggle. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? Freya's got a mouth on her. <laughs> I have. Not as many as you, I assume. He he he. I have a little brother. Oh, that's cute. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle. No, he's living in San Francisco. Oh. Near our parents' house. He's the good kid and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job. While taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? Dot, dot, dot. That sounds suspicious. That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. That sounds a bit suspicious. While you can. This is how I'm gonna kill your parents. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I wanna order something. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Another espresso. You know, here the usual. Here we go. It's the espresso. So oh. Do you have to remember what she likes? I think, no, we can. We, we can look it up in brew pad, the espresso. Oh, right. I think it was just cof- uh, milk coffee coffee. Milk coffee coffee. Milk, coffee, coffee. Oh no, it's just coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay. Oh. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> na, 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 na. Nice guys. All right. Brew. <laughs> hey, brew. <laughs> That's what I remembered. Um, you know, flat white is an Australian drink, mm-hmm. and is once it? yeah, it's an Australian thing. And when my parents went away, and somewhere in South America, they had introducing flat whites. My parents were like. Is it an Australian normal. thing, or do they just call it something different in the rest of the world? No, I think it's an Australian thing. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I, I once went to Singapore, and I ordered a quarter pounder at Macca's, and I couldn't... They wouldn't serve it to me. They were like, what is that? A quarter pounder. Macca's, yeah. Some Macca's are different. Right. Like, have different things. Because you know, some yeah. things here like, we are like have, all different. We have frozen Cokes. America doesn't have frozen Cokes. It's an Australian right. thing, which blew my mind. Huh. Your espresso is ruined. like... You know, no one has like a meat pie. Yeah, except well, for like UK. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, I mean, we got it from there. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, like That's half true. of our. Dude, meat pies are the best. Thanks. Better. Just bitter. Oh, I thought you said better. <laughs> wow. Just the way I love it. Ding dong. Ding dong. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Damn it, if I had my mustache. God. <laughs> And oh. it's the Studio Ghibli character. <laughs> no, like this is me in like 50 years. Yeah, man, you would look exactly like that. What? Oh, now right, I regret. Next coffee talk, cosplay, cosplaying is that guy. I could, I could give me four months and a sweater, and I could pull it <laughs> off. There we go. Gosh. Good evening, sir. Question mark. What does he sound like? Good evening. Yeah, I think yes. so. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> Is Fred oh. judging the cat dude? Yeah. 
Is he a cat or like a mouse? I How can know. I help you, sir? No, oh, pointy yes. ears, man. Are you going to be this guy? Sure. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to order. I don't know why he's British. I'm envisioning Uncle Iroh from... Oh, Avatar? Yeah. What does he sound like? I would try and do that Super voice, wise. but I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. In a way... Because I don't think I could do it justice. In a way, he sounds a bit like Splinter. Okay, all right. Yeah. If all that right. helps at all. <clears throat> Maybe. We'll Something see. to raise your spirits, perhaps. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? No. I'm Is sorry, I've like never heard of it. like some sort of kombucha that no one's heard of? I don't know. If you could, oh wait, no, that's not, that's not the ingredients. <laughs> if you could tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, uh, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Telumadu Jai. I don't think we have any of that. It's Indonesian. It means okay. milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Milk, egg, honey, ginger. Milk, egg. <laughs> She's saying, <angry. laughs> hold up. I certainly have eggs. They're not on the shelf, but I'll add an egg once I mix the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that. I don't like this voice. <laughs> <laughs> I like the character I'm giving this dude. I don't know. Uh, let me try a different one. Uh, what, one one cup of STMJ, please. I don't know. I don't know. Cool. Please, please, please. So it was. Oh, what does Commissioner Gordon sound like? What do you, oh, what he's do you... either he either <laughs> sounds like um, J.K. Simmons or he sounds like um, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Was I prefer it Gary Oldman. Milk. Yeah, me honey. Too. Or if you watch the Harley Quinn show, he sounds completely different. I, I've forgotten what it was already. Was it milk, milk, honey, and eggs and something. Was it lemon? Ginger. Ginger it was ginger. Ginger. Okay. Milk, honey, and ginger. Oh wait. Oh wait. Here we yeah. go. I can check back. Milk, egg, honey, honey and, and ginger. ginger. So we don't have egg, but we got everything else. Hey, brew. Hey, brew. Gonna brew that drink. Oh no, um, beach days. So we didn't end up putting egg in it, but okay. I don't think we can. Have, oh, here's your STMJ. Is that his personality type? Let's see. <laughs> Just got mm. what you said. <laughs> you almost got it right. Care to point out, oh, I'm sorry, care to point out the mistakes? I guess it's the honey. You should have put the ginger oh, in. the order matters? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't no. know that. No. no. Sorry, uncle. Sorry, dude. Noted. <clears throat> Don't worry. Oh, that's you. Don't worry about it, no. <laughs> Jokes on you, I will. <laughs> we're going to hop, and this is going to affect our sleep tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, gosh. What about if it's like, I've traveled to so many places in the States, see? Oh, we've got a new Tomodachi. Oh, it's Freya. Oh, we're full bars with her now. Oh, what nice. up, bro? Well, she does not look like. Wait, we just added Fred now. No, we had a, it. Was only two oh. bars. Yeah. We don't have this new guy yet, though. Yeah. Oh, we don't have his name. That's why. Traveled to so many places in the states. What about like from the Midwest? It's like, eh, and none of them got the STMJ right. That actually it's sounds like... a bit better. Okay. I think yeah. I like that. I don't like the British one. It's too. <laughs> I do. I do too many British voices. Dot dot dot. Excuse me. May I ask you, girl, something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Oh, wow. <laughs> Mostly Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're into a thing called uh, Pokemon Go. Yeah. Uh, aren't you college students? Um, Why does he sound like Peter Griffin? <laughs> 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 all right, all right, I'm doing it, Peter. Commit. Oh, oh my oh, god. He moved over. Yeah, I see. Ah. Ah. Dot, dot, dot. May I ask how old you are? Well, it's making me uncomfortable. All right, slow down there, man. Uh, <laughs> er, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to be creepy. <laughs> hey, Dave Barista! <laughs> the best name. I just... Who is this pervy old man? I, I want, I want to... I have no idea, it's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. <laughs> yeah, his 
Kids probably hate him or something. He's trying to... Ah, oh, yeah. Look at the cops officer. here. Nice. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. <laughs> What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. <laughs> okay, Where? Put the brakes, Freya. <laughs> you mean him? Yeah, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's hey, dad, Okay, Freya. okay, okay, yeah. He, he asked cat. to meet me, so I told him to come here. He's <laughs> the pop star's I, dad. Yeah. I didn't know Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away oh from him. Oh my home. god, wow. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. <laughs> Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Dave, Dave Brewster. Please call me Hendry. Hmm, like Hi. a shirt? Let's go. Hendry, where are you, bro? Hendry. Aww. Aww. That's cute. 23rd of May. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Her name is Hendry Furlong. Yes. Are you Rachel? Didn't we literally just say it was Rachel's dad? Yeah. Yeah. Florencia's father. Oh, yeah. Pay yes. attention. Furlong. Florencia. Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Dot dot dot. Florentia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, get wrecked, Freya. Freya, you need to relax. I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. <laughs> okay. I think I better work on my novel. Yeah, go back. Get out of here. Sure, you guys have lots to talk about. Air Freya, I'll come with you. Bye. Aww. Anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home, was she hanging out with shady people? <laughs> well, <laughs> I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> what? I thought Freya left. She's know. sitting in another chair, I think. Oh, okay. I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. She was in the coffee shop talking with Freya and Dave, Dave Barista. Barista. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. Yeah, because she's a pop star, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to her anymore. She's too busy hanging out with Akali and Evelyn and the one with the missile launchers on her shoulders. What's that one? Well, I don't know. Did you say iCarly? Uh, yeah, iCarly, the, the the four the four League of Legends characters that have their own pop in. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I the, think it's is, that, is that the, oh, the KDA? Yeah. 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 I don't uh, know their names, but I know KDA. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. It's called TikTok. Dude. It's called Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Every TikTok. time we talk, we end up fighting. And then she probably puts it on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Cringe. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing I learned. Oh. Sorry, give them time and space. But be there when they need you. Oh, look at you. Or you can just bribe them. One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I waited for her to take the bait just like a steakhouse. When she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. <laughs> that pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. And it was that point that I realized I lived in a Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> what if what she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. Shouldn't you be happy for her? I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young. But the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Oh shit. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it, a po is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know, maybe. Dave Barista. I need you go need to go now. See you later. See you. Oh uh, wave to her, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough. <laughs> Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. I, mean, I was trying to think of a good one, but I can't think of any good ocean puns. Ocean Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> Damn it, you beat me to it. 
Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make out their own decisions. Also, I just realized my bottle is um, sort mm. of see-through because it's green. Oh. Nice. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on the manager. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> if that will ease your mind. Please do. Oh, wow, right here now, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's happening right here in the coffee shop. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Morris Lester, got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Oh, anyway, I'll, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Like Morris? Oh, it's immediate. Hang on, I gotta take this. Just got a call. Gotta go. Love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Way. You have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! Wait. With that, I am gone. <laughs> Cortana. Oh, I love the music. What is... Oh, okay. Dot, dot, dot. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be all right. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things Why happen. doesn't he be the manager for <laughs> his daughter then? I don't think his daughter wants him to. That bad? Yeah. I was against joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Dot, dot, dot. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. Oh, my phone's ringing, or his phone. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and solo singing career. It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. Yeah, oh, meanwhile, she's back. She survived being an idol, even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who could take care of herself. Don't you think? So go away, Freya. She's not ready. <laughs> She's like, this guy's creepy. I'm going to go sit over here. But hey, information. It's just because you look like a character in the Fast and the Furious franchise. Uh, <laughs> I don't want it to get hurt. <coughs> there are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best though? I think she's born to soar. Was born to fly. What? But she's just a girl. <laughs> My little girl. Seriously? <laughs> That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. Doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. It will drive her away if you keep on acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl too. I feel like you still what are. Mean, what do you mean once? <laughs> Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I... I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer? Dave Morris. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say it like that. <laughs> Take all the time you need. Oh, I want to hear this advice. <clears throat> Gingerbread coffee, ooh. Sweeten with brown sugar to satisfy the cookie monster. I have a tea at home and it's from T2 when they're doing their Christmas range and it's like a gingerbready Christmas sort of one. It's mm. so good. Sounds good. Seattle, night. Every day, it rains. <laughs> Monday, <laughs> September 28th, 2020. 2020. Hey, they're ahead of us. Oh, hello. No pandemic. I forgot that it was in 2020. Yeah. The... Is that evening? Whispers or something whispers? Werewolf representatives push the ministry for more accessible sedative. Huh. Doctor from Salich, Salich Town arrested for experimenting with client cl child cloning. Oh my god. Military Jurassic personnel Park. stationed along east coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. 
Are you sure that'd be okay? Yes. I mean, it'd be really hard to pull off, but it's something that would make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat com concept, but you need to handle it carefully and gracefully. I know. Oh, werewolf guy. Hey. Hey, hey Gala. What happened to you, dude? Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? Yes, you are. <clears throat> Looks like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Dave Barista was just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. It sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although I need to interrupt Dave, Dave Barista for a moment. Sure, how can I help? Can I have a cup of, hmm, you remember my remedy? Nope. Of course. <laughs> do, nope. do you want to give it a try again? It's my last order didn't quite hit the spot. <clears throat> remember it's tea and ginger. Okay. It's been uh, like eight months. I don't remember. Last thing. Funnily though, I was looking at the episode and this was the one part that I did actually see. <laughs> oh, so okay. last time nice. we tried tea, milk, and ginger, and it wasn't right. So past Fiona said we should try tea, ginger, ginger. <laughs> tea, ginger, and was past Fiona right? Well, we, have, we haven't tried tea, ginger, ginger. Okay. Past Fiona said future Fiona should try so tea, ginger, ginger. <laughs> Fiona from January, we're counting on you, please. Yeah, I know. Tea, ginger, ginger, pressure. Let's try. Tea, ginger. <laughs> Gingy, oi, bro. <laughs> Gingy. Come drop buttons. I need a hero. <laughs> Be cool. <laughs> is that it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. How is it? No! Ah, damn Pass it. Fiona, you fail. The string doesn't even follow my guidelines. Yikes. Far from it. But I said T. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to be like, damn. I thought he was going to be like, never mind, this is it. Did but. we lose friendship with him? I want to see now. Oh, we're always on one with him. That's fine. Ah, whatever. He's, he's Lutheran, Lisa. <laughs> Look at him. My father sent me to the moon. <laughs> Allison. Allison! Uh, don't worry, Mr. Gala. We're done for the night. You're done. I have a lot of new homework, thanks to you. You're welcome. <laughs> We're so sassy. Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. It's going to be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Yeah, go away. Come on, I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He might not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. <laughs> I love how Dave Brewster, like, isn't shy with being like, yeah, you're not a great person right now, Fredo, just <laughs> stop it. He's like, I don't care, I've got three friendship bars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, this yeah, guy's the baby. elf. Good evening. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're all agreeing Bailey's as Owen Wilson yeah. at this point. What, what is... Oh, it's gonna be uh, all I know is wow. Wow, wow. Welcome, Mr. Bailey's. Hey, yo. How are you doing, Freya? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Oh, God. What's going on? <laughs> Dave Brewster was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. That's cruel. It's cruel. It's necessary. Sounds interesting. <laughs> What's the problem with the story? <laughs> story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose your own adventure storybook, but for adults. So Those are actually pretty, pretty cool. Dumb. So far, Ben Stiller. Oh, I'm not gonna be this. I used book? to do the choose your own adventure books for Doctor Who, because there used to be some. Mm. I always died. Did you like, okay, when I was reading them, I had like three fingers in there and then, just, okay, let's go back. I died. And then the next one. Yeah, I would hold it in like the first choice and I'd be like, okay, yeah. that one's lame, I'm going to go the other one. Or I'd get like three different bookmarks and then just put them yeah. in there. Yeah, I, I did that for one where is you can find pirate treasure and I went into a cave and then I died. I was like, what? Yeah, because I went into it and then the water came in from the ocean and I drowned. Oh, that was, and I was like, you, that's intense for a kid's book. Did you ever read the Goosebumps ones? Because no. there was one that was like in the <clears throat> museum and there was a mummy. And I Ooh. swear it was so hard. I swear there was like only one way mm. to actually beat it. Because typically <coughs> there's like more than one. But anyway, I digress. Sounds pretty common so far. Oh, that's you. Whoops. But instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. What? That score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. Hey, you should talk to the video game person. What was the name? I 
I'm forgetting. Um, we were calling her Zarya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was... <coughs> oh. Myrtle. Moaning Myrtle. Okay. I know it's... You know, Moaning... The actress plays Moaning Myrtle. Her voice is very similar to that. Like, actually? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because I saw her in two other things, and I was like, oh. Specifically, fill out the bubbles with cotton. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's not that original. Oh, his phone keeps ringing, but my <gasps> target here is the mainstream audience. But that's Hyde. It probably is. With the help of my publisher, this kind of book may go mainstream. Also, check out Pixel Surf Mainstream. <laughs> it's going to be uh, pretty good. We talk about a lot of different games. Classic. Nice. This was sponsored by Mainstream. Yes. Just let, just like that Choose Your Own Adventure show on Netstream. Netflix. So, oh. It's nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached the mainstream market. That's like apparently Minecraft was the first who did the Choose Your Own Adventure in a video format. And oh, then okay. yeah. yep. whatever did it afterwards, oh, I've forgotten what it's called. Everyone's like, oh, that's so cool. And then some people like, Minecraft did it first. I actually, I actually watched like half an hour of that. <laughs> it's I pretty good. It. <laughs> it's pretty good. Now there's also Bear Grylls. What? Yeah. Oh, am I gonna eat this maggot or not? Like, is that is that what? It I is? have no <laughs> idea. I, <laughs> I went to protein. go start it, and I was like, mm, I can't do it today. Sounds interesting and highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea, which is making the novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of story cards. What? I know, right? That just sounds like a board game. <laughs> <laughs> As if she has all the time in the world. And that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I finished it, okay? What if we're the story in this game? Wait. Yeah, in a world where three losers make a, <laughs> <laughs> like, make a show about playing video we games. We get to the end of the game and the story she's written is about like 2019, like our world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just unplug the computer, no. As Steve Barista said though, I won't have the time. Getting a normal pitch. I proved he's already taking it. already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> don't go. Stick to the rivers and lakes that you're used to. <laughs> Oh, uh, you've been watching Umbrella Academy. Oh, it's so good. I just like the fact that he's essentially built a cult on music. On music. On yeah. music. That hasn't been written yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to, I saw a thing somewhere. It was like that cult is going to get, like, expand and then get to when the music was made. They'll be like, oh, other people of our cult. They're oh making my... music. Dude. Oh. In reality, it's like, no, the music actually came first. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. He's still on his phone. Yeah. If you say so. <clears throat> anyway, I haven't ordered anything. Immediately snaps the look at us. <laughs> what do you want to drink? Ginger latte. I know how to make it. Let me pull up my Blue trusty pad. phone. Ginger latte. Oh, yeah. Coffee, ginger milk. Coffee. Coffee, ginger Waffy, milk. Coffee, ginger milk. Brew. Oi, brew. Oh, brew. <sighs> oh, no. I'm um, beaches. I like this little cutscene. Me yeah. too. It's like nice and simple. It reminds me of like an Edgar Wright like smash montage, you know, before yeah, they yeah. do something. Here you go. Tanks. Damn, mm. this is Damn. good. Wow. <laughs> With this kind of drink making skill, I wonder why your place isn't any bigger. Well, well, we have we, a wife and kid at home, so... Yeah, they're not supposed to know that we we're We can only here. come here from, like, 9 to, like, 3 a.m. So. Yeah. What we have here now is more than enough for me. You know, what, in reality, the size of this place is probably really, really small. Yeah, like... like shoebox. One, two, three, four, like a, five. Like, the counter just stretches on for, like, a kilometre. Just... <laughs> like, <laughs> oh infinite kilometer. coffee shop. Jeez. Whatever Fletcher Boyser gets. By the way, how are you doing, Bailey? Still busy with your last client? Oh, I'm done with her. What does he do again? <laughs> He's the, isn't he the artist, dude? Freelance designer. Yeah. Right, right. Nice. Hey, like you. Hey. Except Daniel doesn't have a sweet scarf. Or pointy ears. Yes. <laughs> I need to go home and fix both of those things. 
Pronto. As in, you're driving the project? Ha ha ha. I thought he just wasn't going to respond there. <laughs> hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. Done as in I've finished the job. I spent the past few days making sure. It's even done before the deadline. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her. <laughs> but using some design terms she doesn't understand. So you finished your job by bullshitting her. <laughs> <sighs> yep. The <sighs> finest bullshit, my lady. That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. Do you have that survival skill? S to some extent. Yeah. To some extent. Because sometimes, like, for me, I can already see it in my head, and it's just about, like, trying to get them to see it as well. Mm. So it's, it's difficult because, yeah, during the process, it doesn't look like much until, like, the end. Pretty yeah. Much. And then you don't want to be doing revisions when you're already, like, two weeks into a project, so... No, that's fair. Are you working on anything right now? No. I'm taking a break from work. I need to work on a few personal matters. Oh, it's because between he and his girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. He was the... One with the succubus. Yeah. Because their families were like, no, you can't date that one. Like because Romeo of stigma and stuff. Classic because of stigma. R and J story. Dave Briss is just like, can I, can I leave now? I have other customers to serve. <laughs> that's me at work sometimes when I help someone and then I'm like, do I stay here or do I do I walk do away? Do I should I stay? Like, or should two people I go? start having an argument over like what they're gonna get. Yeah, it's, it's like, like oh, right. I feel like I've, I've had that Simpson before, but yeah. more so people arguing about who's gonna pay, and I'm like, oh, you can tap your card now. As long as we get the money, it's fine. Right? Yeah, uh, here's here's one for you. I was once um, working at my bartender job, and it was it was one of these the venue that I work at. We sometimes. We used to do like school dances. Yeah. So, like a whole bunch of like teenagers would get on board. And essentially they don't get served anything other than soft drinks. Yeah. It's that kind of thing. And then we me and my colleague were at the we're at the bar and we see a full on teenage 15 to 14 year old breakup right in front of us. Wait, what? It was unbelievable. Was it like full on It was brutal. <sighs> yeah, the, the dude got dumped hard. And he was in tears. The girl kind of wasn't, <laughs> and um, and then uh, we're just like right in front of us, like a meter away from me, and I'm like, damn, you like brutal. Just get the cook ready. Yeah, <laughs> just this, slide it over. Like, this guy's never gonna come on this boat ever again. Oh, like it's just gonna be the oh, place where he got dumped. Gosh, man, brutal. Anyway, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. By the way, I'm curious, how did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. Freya's so nosy. Yeah. Like, she's meeting the people at the coffee shop be like, what's well, she, your family she like? She pretty much just lives here. So, yeah, she kind of does. Know. Also, hello. She's probably, like, waiting out the front of the store for Dave to open. She's like, I'm in. Yeah. Uh, hello, Hack86. And uh, thanks for the follow. I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know. Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. You're so. still there, Freya. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> I was a bit of a player back in college. Ooh, spicy. Ooh. 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 Naughty. <laughs> yeah, that, that checks out. Yeah. yeah. And I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Wait. What? No. So, yeah. the so best, best friend's, friend's girlfriend's, girlfriend's friend. friend. Okay. So basically, just someone you knew. That's all. That's okay. Yeah. That's above board. Yeah. Like, I feel I thought, like you I don't need to specify. If it was your friend's, friend's girl girlfriend, yeah. that's... That's kind not. of a dog move. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it really slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Right. Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Cognac. <laughs> that was actually his name. Don't, don't lie to me. <laughs> has a girlfriend. Cognac has a girlfriend. Still following. And that girl had a friend. And that friend is the one I'm after. Oh, okay. Got it. She was one of the hottest girls there. I bet she was. <laughs> and everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. Why? It's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get into details, but this Bruh. succubus was super hot. Is I mean, if the succubus isn't super hot, is there something wrong there? Would they? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a good point. That's a good point. And all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player too. What? <gasps> Nani? That doesn't sound like Lua at all, because it wasn't Lua, genius. Genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Oh, wait. Oh, so it what? was his friend's girlfriend. Oh. It is not above board. No. Dude. Holy moly. 
This is getting spicier. She's like, I'm gonna write this in my book. Dave versus like pumpkin spice. <laughs> 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 this is Vanya in Umbrella Academy. She's like, I'm gonna write this all down. <laughs> Publish another book. Uh, um, the other girl's name was, let's just call her Rose. So her name was Rose. She's coming is in it, like wait, in is it Rose minutes. or Rose? Cause he's like doing the cognac thing. Is it like- Well, there's no little uh, oh, yeah. thing over Rose. <laughs> Rose. I knew Lua, thanks to her relationship with cognac. Cognac's a weird word. Yeah, it is. Isn't That's it a French? A... Pretty sure it's French. Yeah, I think it's French. Cognac. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yeah. Now, will you let me continue without interruptions? I don't think Freya's possible. That That's possible for Freya. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much, but I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Cognac back in college. I'd been out and I just got back as Lua arrived. A total coincidence. We went into our place together and witnessed something surprising. Oh, was her the boyfriend cheating on Lua? Yeah, I knew it. <gasps> cognac was sleeping oh with Rose. Oh my God, not above board. Cognac, you. Holy mother of Molly. I saw the look in Lua's face, the disbelief, anger, and sadness. And without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. You what? I got into a fight with him. Oh, I haven't told you. Cognac was a... Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tutor for kids. Okay. He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch and then he beat me to a pop. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. Lou begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. And more like she, she begged Cognac. Hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I didn't give up so easily. Meanwhile, he's just like, this is a pretty good story. He's probably like tuned out. He's like he probably playing is. Candy Crush right now or something. Yeah, he probably is. No, no he's, on, he's on TikTok. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Recording this conversation. No, I respect Bailey's. You could do, it's good to tell stories where you got your ass beat. Yeah. yeah. That's I'll how you know you're comfortable with yourself. But I don't give up easily. I was being pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. We grew closer after that. Ooh. And I don't even remember the exact date, but suddenly that friendship turned into a relationship. And then stigma. <laughs> that was one hell of a story. I know. Have you seen her by the any chance? Yeah, she's with Cognac. <laughs> <laughs> Lua came by a few days ago. How was she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. Uh -oh. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She's got into an argument though. With whom? There was this male model. <gasps> oh, model? he's immediately put his phone down. He's, he's like, hang on a second. I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. Oh, he's back on his phone now. <laughs> what are they it's arguing about? about? Well, <clears throat> we were talking about your relationship. They were told us the reason behind the fight about your family stuff. Oh, he's put his phone down again. And then this guy hide joined the discussion. What did he say? You didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval, considering, you know, what? You're willing to leave your own family. Nope, he's on his phone again. You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Let me tell you about my family. Or should I say, most elven families. They all think they're so high and mighty, they're probably high elves then. <laughs> um, if you're born an elf, there's a certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. We must never ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs, jobs that are deemed worthy and successful, like being a doctor, lawyer, or CEO. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something elves would deem as suitable, unless you become the next Da Vinci. So when I switched from business major to an art major, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. And they told me that if I'd, I'd never be rich or successful, or because you chose an art degree, you want to know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, they blamed her for my decision to pursue a passion, my passion for art. Yelled about how kind, her kind is ruining the country. Oh my God. Accusing their religion of worshiping the dark Lord accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Whoa, I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. That's so not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental, but your family is racist. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Lou is the only, the only person who can make me feel alive. She showed me how I could be free and pursue my dreams. 
I don't understand why Lua is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem with leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for the best, both of us. What about her? What? What about me? What about her and her family? <laughs> you may be happy to leave your family, however, it may not be the same for her. I. Oh. Werewolves dropping some were facts. Yeah. <laughs> Gala, do you have something to say? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. It's like the the mockumentary, what we do in the shadows. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like werewolves, not it's swear werewolves. <laughs> Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Yeah, you did. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I'm sitting right next to you. I assume that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yep, she's a succubus. I see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We put our family before any other. We often have our problems within the pack, but we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? I hadn't thought about that. I never mm -hmm. thought about it that way. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a different spot. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, Circumstances might change. One day, one of you might regret your decisions. One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her, whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. Oh, we're facts. Might burn fiercely <laughs> at first, but over time, it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work. I read hard wonk. <laughs> <laughs> Because life is like lemons. <laughs> life gives you lemons. <laughs> life is full of storms. In marriage, it will not survive on love alone. Whoa, Whoa that's deep. Whoa, that's deep. Freya's like, write that all down. Keanu. <laughs> Whoa. We'll have each other and that's enough for us. Well, it's enough for him, maybe not for her. Mm. Tell me, do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf, why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? Immortality is an elven, elven privilege, but you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or seriously injured, emptied their entire life saving, savings for an eight pill, but an $8 pill because in this country they charge $20,000 for it. Oh, ouch, that's kind of relative. And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privilege you do there's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Bailey's like, I came here to have coffee, man, not to get my whole life just read for me. Anyway, gotta go. He's like, just <laughs> drop that on him. Wait, you know how like you do the thing where you give all this advice and you go, I don't know, so you don't, you're like, you're <laughs> yeah. not responsible for them ruining their life. Dude, he just like calls this guy to have an existential crisis and he's like, I'm what? gone. See you later. No, thank you for your insight. I've got to go too. Oh, see, so he's about to have an existential crisis. Want to head out He's going to beat him up, and then he's sure. going to find out Gala's a Brazilian Thanks for the drink. Dave Barista. Don't lie, you hated the drink. And Freya. <laughs> Bye. Whoa. Okay. They teleported. That person in the background has been walking back and forth like 50 times. He's probably waiting for Dave Barista to come out so he can fight him. <laughs> Ninja. Ninja. Dave Barista. What? You made me lose two customers in a minute. Uh, hey, that wasn't stuff. on me. They were, they were leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in your book? It's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. Oh, oh yeah, Ray finally ordered something. <laughs> Ginger presides over the ground coffee at presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup. Originally from Indonesia. Cool. Would you like to take over? Sure. Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. 
I'm a hacker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coachella 2020, 10 reasons you should go. Don't go to Coachella. Well, it's it looks not like happening. Couch Ella. COVID. Couch Ella. Oh, Couch Ella. Well, there you go. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. I hope so. And who vows to stop major hospitals selling? I, I read furry sedative illegally, and I was like, what is that? Never mind. Furry sedative <laughs> illegally. Who? Who are you? Oh, it's these two. He, wait, wasn't Hyde like the really verbose, like, he never really changed? Yes, it was. I know. But it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. I ship them. Hey, Dave Barista. I'd like to order again. Uh oh, this is the second time. The usual. So he wants. Yeah, back to the experiment. Yes. Yes. You know what? Try adding milk to. We tried that. <laughs> All oh. right. You know what to do. <sighs> you know what to do. All right. Um, do we want to look in the phone and see if like there was something for for ginger? Brewpad. So we wanted a ginger tea. Or was it a ginger latte? Should we just make that? Yeah. Oh, that's got coffee in it. I'm pretty sure I thought he wanted tea. Uh, tea. We only have this tea. That's it. I mean... So we did tea, ginger, ginger before. And we've done tea, tea ginger, ginger... honey? Have we done that before? We, he wants milk in it, though. Oh, milk. So tea, ginger, milk? Yeah, but remember the order matters, too. Okay, how would we make this in real life? Ginger... Tea, milk. milk. Let's try that. Okay. Oh, you gotta put tea in first. So it'd be oh, tea, ginger, okay. milk. Tea, ginger, and a little bit of milk. Brew. Doom, 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 doom. Here we go. Right. Oh, you can latte art. Oh, yes, let's do it. Let's do it. In a tea? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually. Um, go on then. How do I. This poor milk. Okay. Oh my god, this is not working. Okay, that did not work. Let's, let's try it again. Eh. I'm trying to make a face. <laughs> it does not look like a face. What about etch? Can I etch it? Okay. Okay, so this is uh, this is Hyde and and Gala, and they're both trying to hold hands. And Gala has like a storm cloud over him because he's really sad all the time. Amazing. And this is a uh, sunny ray, so uh, it, it's kind of showing that Hyde provides him a little bit of sunshine, which is ironic because he's a vampire. vampire. And let's have it. Here we go. And he's just like, what is this? Try this. Thank you. I swear if this isn't right, I just want to Google it. It <gasps> tastes just like I Finally! Asked. Too oh. bad it's not it. God damn it. Is, is his shtick just like, we can never do it? I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna Google it. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my, oh wow, he was my bodyguard. Ooh. Oh? Didn't Classic. you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. Right. What when was happened? that, like a hundred years ago? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds like Geralt. Ugh, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? <gasps> we were close. Do you want to know what it is? Yes. It's tea, milk, ginger. So we went tea, ginger, milk. It's okay. tea, milk, ginger. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> and at the beginning, we must have tried milk, tea, ginger. Milk, yeah, okay. So it's tea, tea milk, ginger. Tea, milk, ginger, ginger last. Damn it. Just because I'm a vampire, it doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I'd had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. I don't like this. A couple? Really? You were trashed, Hyde. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive. So I hailed a cab. Turns out, he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. 
and I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street again. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who are they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they might have had ties to the Mafia. What? <laughs> the, 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 okay, never mind. <laughs> and I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. What is this guy? A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So how did they manage to get away the Mafia without being killed? Just outlived them, I guess. Oh, oh I true. He's <laughs> like, see ya. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck in the universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? No, people with beards. <laughs> War oh, veterans. Man. Like, in arm? Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> how did you go working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? 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 I've been saying Gala. Gala. Uh, well, when he was working with me, I noticed... Hide. I prefer it if we skip that part. I'm kind of like trying to play him as like Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but we didn't want to go into any details about it. It's all right. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. Well, that wasn't helpful. Let's just say something from my past. And you hear like a in the background. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran wolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So, you can say I owe this guy my life, thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Uh, thank you for sharing that story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know! Anyway, Dave <laughs> Brewster, I'd like to order something now. But he's got a drink in front of him. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? Could you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Warm and cool. Yeah, okay. Sounds like an absolute vampire thing so, to say. So tea and then something spicy, cinnamon, and milk. I reckon. What do you think? Warm and cool. I mean, you can. Oh, you, just, you need to balance out those two bars. Oh, oh right. Warm I keep and getting cool. back yeah, the yeah, yeah, cinnamon okay. out. Whoops. No. Nope. How do I go back? B. Reset. Okay. Uh, go tea and then the mint. Oh, we got them and there. Milk. Wait, oh. we can see the preview, right? Warm and cool. The and milk almost gets it up there. Yeah. Oh, this warm kind of brings it up. This could be warm and cool. What about like, ginger? Oh, ginger. Oh, there you go. Nice. Good catch. Can we do uh, the art? Latte, no. Well, that makes sense. Here you go. Here you okay. go, buddy. Here's your order. It's like, it's terrible. Exactly. Oh, oh. What I wanted. Nice, nice, nice. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Here oh, we go. Here there we go. she is. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hey! Hello, good people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't nice. know why she's a <laughs> And one vampire? <laughs> <laughs> It's good to see you too. Freya. Wait, no, that's Dave Brister. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. <coughs> Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? <laughs> that won't work in me. <laughs> You've just given us some sort of weird variation of the Tracer accent. Oh my god. I'll try to be really bogged, but... Uh, <laughs> I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. Ho! Yo. Spicy. You look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work. Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Lame. Right. <laughs> His werewolf senses are tingling. 
I showed Dave the rest of my draft. And I actually got some good feedback. <laughs> That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. And I also did some stories for the paper. <laughs> this, this is stupid. What about like, uh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> All the accents are so different. Uh, and then it's just Dave percent in a normal Australian just like accent. Me like, just no asking problems. how long Daniel could keep, possibly keep this up for. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Okay, wait, let's let's decide on Freya. So it could be either overall, it was a good day or like overall, it was a good day. Like more California. What do you think? Bogan? Oh, I kind of like the Bogan because it's so dumb. All right. <laughs> Overall, it was a good day. <laughs> That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Yeah, I feel that as well. Will do, sir. <laughs> and speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admining life going? <laughs> That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> it's pretty boring to talk about. But mostly, I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs, and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. They require intensive care, such as operations. I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kind of like biz dev for people's lives then. You could say that. So that's how he could throw down all the knowledge about like how much stuff costs. Yeah, because he's got like full on experience with it. Uh... Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly. It's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely, yeah, we rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. Yo. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. He needs to be a bit less loyal though. Hi. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same position. Uh-huh. Holy squiggle! <laughs> Ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions. Most managerial. Take it! Not interested. Why? Not interested. <laughs> it's not something I'd want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. I just realized he's wearing the scrubs underneath the jacket. Oh, you're oh. right. I always thought it was just like some cool, like green. Shirt. Yeah. That's what right. I thought. That's cool. Um, Are you gonna stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. Lo-fi vibes. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, Dave Barista. <laughs> and you, Freya. See you. his name a lot. I'm glad we picked something cool. Dave yeah, Barista. me too. Uh, take care on your way. Boop. He's like, we didn't pick anything. See you around. Enter player name. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I think it just autos to Barista. Oh, okay. Because yeah, like, when we started, yeah. it was Barista. So right. just be, see ya, Barista. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to believe someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh really? Man, I missed an interesting story. Yeah, you did get wrecked. So how'd you guys meet? Seriously, <laughs> I have to retell the story. Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? He's like, actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. And there it Fade goes. to black. Whoa. I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, He's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he make the jump from, how shall I say this? A very physical job to medic. I would argue that being a medic is a very physical job. Yeah. It's but he is admin though. Oh yeah, that's oh, true. true. But still a lot of hours though. Yeah. Um, well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. 
But you know why, right? Freya. Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously. Stupid. Uh, he doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Oh, that's so mean, Freya. Go away. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I guess he's like trying to be really nosy to get the story from everybody. But yeah. At the same time, it's kind of like it's kind of insensitive at the moment. When, yeah. Like, she clearly knows that they're not comfortable to talk like, about it. She's only doing it for herself. She doesn't really care about yeah. people's boundaries and stuff. Um, seriously, Freya, come on. Which is why I made it sound like this. <laughs> uh, I won't get into the details. No, hi, but don't do it. Going to war, it messes with your head. Oh. You see why Gayla doesn't want to talk about yeah, it, huh? Yeah, take that, Freya. I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least, it was the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard, and we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then I got to be interested in him. Interested? <laughs> I think he's a cool person, that's all. Oh, I don't believe it. And They're after totally a few together. months, I noticed Oh, I thought they were together. Problem. I've been saying that together, I don't think they are. Oh! No, I reckon there's just a lot of tension between them. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, I, I thought it was like, ah, like, oh, funny, vampire and werewolf. Yeah. Uh. I suggest as, uh, he talk about it with someone, seek help, which he refused. Nice surprises there, but I kind of pushed him to do it. Uh-oh. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to, pro get, to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions, but in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me, and not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... Ooh. Hey! Oh, this guy! Good evening, everyone. <laughs> what should this guy sound like? Alright, Mitch, do you want to do a voice? Oh, man. You should do one. Can I do a voice for this guy? What are you, what are you feeling? What are you thinking? I don't know. Harry boy! <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. It's nice to see you again. Uh, people, people. <laughs> I just like... <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I don't know. I can't, I'm not good at voices. Or like an alien. We are also glad to see you, Dave Barista. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the claw. The <laughs> I'm claw. Trying to think of that. Uh, you saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. Yeah, I like that one. You do that one. Oh, I can't do that more than that line. <laughs> okay. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? My name's Beeple Beeple. It's going to be the thing Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk, yeah, Elon Musk, Musk like, named his baby. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> name? Sure, we have a name. <laughs> and then I just, the dial up on, tone on comes Earth. out. <laughs> on Earth, please call us. Oh, it's us. Neil! Neil, Neil Armstrong? Neil Armstrong. Okay, hey. I like the voice. Keep doing it. Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Elon Musk doesn't have a voice, he has a timing and a cadence. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, William Shatner. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So, due to the nature of community. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We do not need to really. Wait, hang on. We do not really need to trivial things like names or to interact. From what we have learned here, this is so good. <laughs> it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with <laughs> earth earthlings in efforts, in efforts in intergalactic exploration. <laughs> I get what you mean. <laughs> Elon Musk hire me for your voice acting. <laughs> Elon I Musk believe we us. did not meet this last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name's Freya. <laughs> you could say I'm a regular here. <laughs> and you, sir? Hide. You come here often? For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Oh, you are not from around here. <laughs> well, neither am I for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> neither are neither we. Really? <laughs> the fact that he says we, it feels like some Venom situation where it's like couple personalities. <laughs> like, Eddie. 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 <laughs> why, why would I do that? Uh, where do you come from? Far away. Far, far away. Far, far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? You mean like in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> more. 
I'm from the moon. No, <laughs> boring. The much more to the point that your strange calculation systems mean nothing. Oh, Oy, that sounds far away. He's dude. like above the metric and imperial. And imperial. <laughs> what are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We choose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Aramy Gendry album cover. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, <laughs> this place is really perfect to spot and practice our communication skills with Earthlings. Yeah, this guy's Elon Musk for sure. Yeah. <laughs> But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. How you say it? Yes? Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything. <laughs> then give him water. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Oh no, it's going to make him feel emotions. Interesting. Premise. Let's just make it super spicy. But we doubt you'll be able to do that. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Challenge, Challenge accepted. accepted. Should we just like coffee, tea, tea, uh, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, cinnamon, cinnamon? Or okay. coffee, ginger, ginger? Okay. I'm going to listen to Elon Musk talk real quick, just to get some inspiration on how to be a robot. What about like Zuckerberg? I know he gets clowned. Oh, robot. Zuckerberg. Oh, there's also oh, like green Jesse tea. Jesse Eisenberg version or the Jesse actual I version? The actual new face, filter, new face filters on Instagram today. <laughs> nice job, team. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. Uh, or we okay. could green tea it. Green tea? Uh, what about cho okay. choco powder? Choco powder. That's surely... Okay, sweet. Boom. And then it's like super sweet if we add cinnamon. Like, because we want to make it super tasty, Yeah, let's right? do it. Yeah? Wait, so I put chocolate, honey, and cinnamon. Oh, I would like to try that. Brew. Okay. Do I have cinnamon at home now? I want to try it. Please don't nibble me. Serve it. A cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot he did this. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> it's all over it. Interesting. What, what are you doing? Ew. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Drinking. That's how they drink. That's how they drink. Word oh. boy. <laughs> you are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, <laughs> Normally yes. yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. Yeah, Freya. That spicy. definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in space. In the space you call the Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. Whoa. Wait, yeah, okay. also, Whoa. yeah, also, she Whoa. didn't question the fact that he said we. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like Star Lord's dad. Yeah, Ego. <laughs> oh. You are really here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, 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 far away. away. Yeah, he's pretty much Kurt Russell. <laughs> wow. It turns out Perv exists everywhere <laughs> in the universe. My god, Freya. <laughs> Good joke, Freya. Feeling attacked, attacked, old man. <laughs> not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. But we are glad if we can make you laugh. That's kind of innocent. Nice. Kid. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Oh, no. They're going to take over. Oh, no. Oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? <laughs> we, cannot say, we cannot say it is going well. You know what it reminds me of? The, the, it has been a challenging mating season for bird person. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. Can you handle them, though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. Oh! oh! I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further. <laughs> if you got a good story. Oh, wow! Oh, damn. shots Woo! fired! <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. He's like, damn, good up my auntie. <laughs> You're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with them, but I don't like to sleep around. <laughs> really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Damn! Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. 
from what we gather? Does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. Wow. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange I thought for I would be getting the easy lines by being the robot. This is definitely not what I was expecting. <laughs> but I'll only sleep around with someone if I- if, Wait, someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. <laughs> it's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We've heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. Yeah, good job, Elon. This is exactly how Elon met his wife, by the way. <laughs> this is very strange. This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept, <laughs> Neil. <laughs> <laughs> then why with such roles do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will. But we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. Uh yeah, not so much, Neil. Sorry yeah. about that, buddy. We, at least we... Oh, hang on. At least that was what we gathered from your information network. Really? You got that from our information network? That's it. <laughs> uh, theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. Here we are. That's the easiest way to put it. We've learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Here we go. Will you marry uh, us? <laughs> ask away. How can we become your <laughs> uh... Elon, you are the best. <laughs> no. First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating, boyfriends or girlfriends, you know, before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. <laughs> can I be your boyfriend, sir? Yes. <laughs> How can we become your boyfriend? <laughs> You could start by asking her whether she's actually sing Wait, actually nice, nice single. Nice, nice call, Hyde. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, oh, I'm is. single. Oh <laughs> Do you want to be our girlfriend? This is how it. This is how it pretty much works out for me whenever I go to a bar. <laughs> now, the path to starting to date varies between people, but usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. Not if you use Tinder, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Like me. Neil is a smooth talker. Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us, because I'm Elon Musk. And... <laughs> Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Oh my god, this is time to get a real... We're gonna explain to Neil what a condom is. Okay, here we go. Condoms? It's something you wear we'll to some really awful pregnancy. sound bites from me out of this video. <laughs> yeah, and I'm doing this, this should really, weird... This should really get me out of a lot of new voices in the future. Gosh. I'm doing this weird, like, Kath and Kim voice for uh, Freya as well. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Why would you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got this, I got this. Pleasure. Why would you do that? Neil makes a good point. It is a good point. All this information is too much to process in is one it evening. Leave? It fucking is, isn't it, Neil? <laughs> Neil. So, we talked about using condoms, but how do your kind have sex? <laughs> the, 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 you just saw it, Freya, with the teacup. Like, Aww. seeing how you drink, a condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm, that's true. How do you do it? No, hi, don't join in on this. Oh my god. It's up to Elon you, Elon Musk. We are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details. Thank yeah, you. Don't, Thank you. Don't, don't, don't tell us the details. Unless we agree to the mating ritual. <laughs> well, they're both thinking about well, it. Well, if you want to know, you gotta go. <laughs> I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. It will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. <laughs> we did our research. <laughs> and we tried it on oh testing an object we made. 
Neil. <laughs> dude. Oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> that the mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. That's Dapris, by the way. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I saw an orange name. I'm just too traumatized by Neil's dialogue. <laughs> we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. Yep. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you've given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. I bet it does, Neil. You better go home and report the shit out of this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How we proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was nice talking with all of you. What's that? You're welcome. <laughs> we are off now. Bye. Bye. God, Neil. <laughs> Get out of here. Way, Get out of here. Get out. Dude, come on. Kill me. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was really something. That was really something. Indeed. Fahrenheit like, let's not mention this ever, ever again. again. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And then they mistook Miss Myrtle for that date. The game developer Orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivete. I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Are you showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't heard. I haven't seen her since then. But a boyfriend did come a few days ago, and Freya was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. React in shame. <laughs> well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. So I'm off for the day. Are you leaving Sierra so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh, right, well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Oh, don't lie, Frey. You start all the drama. Anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Yeah, get out of my coffee shop. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Eh, that's one way to put it. No, man, we're, we're trying to run a business here. Our wife doesn't know about our business, so we need the money. Why do we need the money? Because we're Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, yeah. Spider-Man needs money to fund his spider crimes. I don't know why we need money why do we need money i mean we've got the trust fund yeah okay the trust fund is going dry and then the Wait. but the, the wife doesn't know it's going dry yes and so we need to earn the money so she still thinks we have money yes okay okay uh anyway freya do you want to share a cab ooh, ooh, share a cab thanks but i'm riding my bike 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 all right then see you around Adios. Take care on your way, folks. I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. I'm walking away. Gingerbread coffee, sweetened with brown sugar to satisfy cookie, cookie monster. Cookie. What is he? He sounds like that, right? Cookie. I don't like cookies. Yes, I don't like Okay, I am done doing these voices. I'll pass it back to you. Sure. <laughs> hey, you did really well. Thank you. It was hard. I was like, oh my God, there's so many... If you are just tuning in though, we're playing Coffee Talk, part two of Coffee Talk. We played part one ages ago, back in January, January 30th. It's, yes, it's made by Toge Productions. If you want to find out more about the game, we did speak to one of the developers, Chris, back on episode 139. So go and check that out. Otherwise, it's currently Wednesday, September 30th. I it's wonder- It's Wednesday, is it, my dude. It's Wednesday, my dude. Is it actually the 30th on Wednesday? Of 2020? I mean, I don't see why not. Like. Surely they would have used the calendar because this game is set in. Well, that okay, calendar's not working. I'm going to use my friend calendar. Okay. Protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Oh. Dwarven made cars face challenge against an unexpected. Hey, competitor. it is a Wednesday on September the 30th. Nice. Nice. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. 
You know that's probably full of like druids and stuff. I gotta probably imagine. is. New person. Come on. Welcome. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's a new person. Hide. Oh, we got extra love. What I'm hide. doing with the fact I've been blood sober for ten years now. Nice. Oh, Neil. Hey. Welcome. Oh, <gasps> Saitama. It's the oh. <laughs> Saitama FBI. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation. <laughs> oh no, an enforcement division. Fired. Or fire, or fire. for short. <laughs> you could say it's lit. Uh, how may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue <gasps> of illegal. He's looking for Neil. Interstellar immigration, seriously. So they're men in black. Yeah. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure, but according to the, some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit okay. or something similar. That's a pretty eye-catching outfit. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid detection, you know. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we've been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, Please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want any <laughs> drink or anything before leaving? We're good. Oh. <gasps> We're good? He's an alien. Oh, my God. Take care on your way. He's an alien. Agent's an alien. Calling it now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Saitama. It has to be. Phew. <laughs> you really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Hey. Oh, hey. Good evening, Dave Barista. Yo. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Hey, you go first. Nah, you go first. Totally yeah, nah, dating, nah, yeah. Pardon? They're totally dating, aren't they? I totally ship it. I get she's a researcher, she's a game designer. Yeah. And they were like super like, oh, you're so, you're so cool. Okay, can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? That's a lot of men. Latte art? No, dang. Slide it down the table. Ooh, this looks really fresh. Well, I hope it is. I call it the Marrakesh, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh in Morocco. I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. It's too minty. Oh my. It's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the tet tarik. Ah! Brew pad. Hey, you got new tea. Nice. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. That's right, we'll have a look at these lit up. Aqua, yeah. Wow, she likes this already. I don't know what tea she wants. We don't have it in our list. Let's have a look. We don't have it in our list. Abort. Abort. It was the Tech Tarek. Abort. Is it the Russian tea? No. Oh, that's right. My Chrome doesn't work for some reason. Dang it. <laughs> um, I don't know what a Tech Tarek is. Let's, let me look up, I'll look up here. When in doubt, go to Google. The best thing. When in doubt, Google it out. Hey. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hot, cold, Malaysia or Singapore? Let us look at the ingredients. Ingredients, coffee, talk. No, 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 <laughs> no we're gonna look at the real thing. What is tartaric made of? Uh, black, black tea. So tea, and it uses milk, and then what else? Uh, let us have a look. I wonder if Papa Rich has it. Okay, here we go. So it just uses tea, condensed milk, sweetened, and water, and salt. Should I go tea, tea, milk then? Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's do that. All right. <clears throat> that looks kind of nice, actually. Here's your Ted Tarek. Is it what she wanted? Huh? No. Hey! Don't me, actually. Nice. Hey! Really authentic. We got it. Nice. Hey! Just like the Ted Tarek you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I just figured Google. it out. <laughs> Child around Southeast Asia a few years ago. So, so that's also, about... that's where we got the Spider-Man training from. Right. Southeast yep. Asia, so. Yes, and from videos on the internet. <laughs> so, um... Hey, it's there. Cool. How are things going in the office? As usual, tiring, I can relate. But thanks to you and your team, we made some pretty good progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be on of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need time, need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Why do I keep yawning? Oh, I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Huh. Crunch time is a real thing. And if you are keen to find out more about game development, you can check out any of our Pixelsift podcast episodes where we talk mm. to developers from around Australia and Asia. Check it out. That segue. You can look it on our website, pixelsift.com. Dot dot au. au. As if those executives care about us, so retirement is not mandatory, they'll say, ooh. Yeah, but the crunch culture Please see your family, is... get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunately very real in yeah. game devs. We'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. Mm. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. This game has gotten very... Hit hard, it's talking about crunch time now. <laughs> like oh game dev crunch. Hot button meta? topics. Yeah. Yeah. I would meta? say so. I would say like uh -oh. if a game's talking about crunch time, it's like, yeah, you guys yeah, you guys know what it's like. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, you okay. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. Also, we, we learnt how to be Spider-Man and like all of the Spider-Man things from when we took a trip a few years ago to Southeast Asia. <laughs> yeah, Dave Varista said that he went to, he travelled to Southeast Asia, so it's nice. part of the backstory now. Yep. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice on that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Oh, God. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. Wow, this is like some speech Gandalf, yes. Gandalf would make. Like. I'm sorry, ruin the, mood for, ruin the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know? At least the company gives us a decent compensation, healthcare bonuses and so on. And we're already used to it, this, so don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up, remember. Your research helps us out a lot. Thanks to the rest of the development team, development is going so much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? I actually have some good news about it. Kickstarter. Go follow me. The game got approved to showcase at Max, Max West. Ah, <laughs> uh, instead of Pax West. That's really good news. Is that one the one you went to? No, I went to East. Pax East. It's in Boston. Boston, ding dong. Ding dong. Uh, thank you. So, what's the problem then? Yeah, because we had to fly into San Francisco. Nice. And then fly to Boston. Right on the other side of the country. Yeah, except we didn't realize because we weren't told when we booked our tickets, when you arrive in San Francisco, you have to go through all the customs and stuff. There has to be 45 minutes. Well, we, oh no, we missed our flight because the thing took so long. Oh, and then yeah. on the sign behind when we were trying to change our flights to later, it said, please make sure you have at least an hour between oh. your arriving departures. And we weren't told that when we booked our tickets, so we were like, okay. We were just lucky enough we were able to get new tickets without paying anything. Haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast before they give you a spot to another indie. I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? Ooh. Dude, I wish the booth was free for indies. Mm. It's unfortunately expensive, especially 
um, packs this year. There's a lot of indies though, to be honest. So. Yeah, that's good then in the events. Even in Seattle, don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket, but it's not. I'm not that confident. You pass the selection process, right? Who is it now, friends? Oh. Hey. We're three friends with her now. Full Metal Conflict. There should be enough validation to reassure you on the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry. And also senior journalists. Like Pixel Sift. <laughs> like Pixel, <laughs> Pixel Sift might be there. Ooh. Yeah, who knows? You might get an interview on Pixel Sift. They're well, a in, great podcast, I've heard. In this universe, we're probably like Pixel Sift, right? Oh, dude, <laughs> we probably are. We'd just be a bunch of gherkins. Uh, but I've told you about my... Which way around is it? Are pickles the smaller one and gherkins are the bigger ones? All right. Or is I thought, it gherkins I mean, I gherkins are smaller I gherkins and pickles smaller. are bigger? All right, let me sort this out I thought for you gherkins guys. are smaller. Thank you, because someone brought it up, I feel like, somewhat recently to me, gherkin and I was like, I don't know. Versus pickles. <laughs> it's pretty non traditional, and thousands of people will be visiting PAX. Sorry, Max. <clears throat> especially, especially Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People will know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. I'm a gamer. gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm All right, would you like to know? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so a pickle is basically any vegetable that has undergone a process of pickling using vinegar, water, salt, whatever. So a gherkins are pickles, but pickles are not necessarily gherkins. What? Okay, a gherkin <laughs> is a pickled cucumber. Oh, okay. Okay, right. So, because the, they can be like pickled onions and stuff yeah. like that, but then gherkins are just pickled cucumbers. That's what I always thought pickles were, though. Oh, hang on. Wait. Uh, because I know you can pickle things. Okay, so pickle a pickle, is a, a it word. takes four to five hours to pickle a cucumber, but a gherkin could take up to 30 days. So it's not oh, okay. even... So, so it, it's like they're a specific, both cucumbers, but it's yeah. the, the time put into it. Yeah, well, Got you it. can pickle anything. Yeah. But yeah, no. the time... It takes a gherkin is specifically a cucumber that has been pickled for like 30 days. Right. But like you can have a pickle, but it's just a pickle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Interesting. What if some haters visit the booth? Well, haters. tell them to get away. What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Just invite Zarya over and she'll sort them out. <laughs> we had that a couple of times, like we had feedback sheets oh, and yeah. like you could just tell they were just writing things for the sake of complaining. Oh, yeah. And we're like... Cool. Fine. Get the one out of here. Yeah. Or about <clears> me. <throat> That's not going to happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. Yeah, people are nicer in real life. After, Even after all that, I'm still be there by myself for the whole event. Make friends with the people around you. That one, that one is a problem, yeah. Tell her that you'll go with her. Meeting that many people, meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. Just can't imagine the horror. We had someone glitch our game. It was the funniest thing. <laughs> you know what? <gasps> so far, my schedule is... Yes! Hey! It's pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. Yeah, man, get, on, get into all the cool things. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Oh, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, argue with the orc. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the, is the expo build ready? Expo build. You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Uh, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Beeple, beeple. Got Neil it. Neil shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> it is I, Neil. Neil. Now let's see. Oh, is it Neil? Oh, 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 Please oh, make it not oh, be Neil. Oh, oh. I don't want to be Neil again this playthrough. Oh, oh <laughs> Miss Rachel, what's up, bro? Hi, Dave Barista. Hmm, what's wrong? My father. Oh, huh? No. Nothing. 
just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet, it'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Couchella. Couchella next Couchella. week. Couchella. They're still adding new performers. Yeah, you might say that those announce that those announced this late are backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yeah yeah. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. Why'd you say it like that? I want a sweet hot chocolate, yo. So. Tea, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tea it is. Tea, honey, milk. Yeah? Something. Yeah, it'll... Something sweeter. We needed sweet. Lemons, no. Um, How do you get sweeter than all that? You could probably just go chocolate, honey, <clears throat> honey. I don't know. That'd be really weird. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. It's so bitter just by itself. Chocolate. Honey, honey? I don't know. She said she wants something really sweet. What Let's do, do it. Brew. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> oh, brew. Mm mm mm. Mm mm. That's some good chocolate. Honey chocolate. Batter up. Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thanks. It's too sweet. How is it? Mmm. Not bad. It's not special. Oh, okay. Excuse okay. me. Okay, okay. Um, I'll shake my phone. Oh. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? <laughs> Probably, but in this case, it's the ghoul. I miss that. But in this case, there's a good reaction to it. You might have people lining up to play your game. There we go. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Ding dong. Oh. Oh, Dad? No. Daddy? Do I look like? <laughs> what are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening. <gasps> oh, I was no. worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. Now you're causing another ruckus. Uh, Dave's just like, I, I don't mind as long as you buy something. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, Dave Brewster. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You were sorry? I don't have anything to be sorry for. Oh. Well, anyway, I better order something. Hey, nice. What are you having? What would you recommend? I might, might I suggest a cup of Spanish, Spanish Sahara. Sahara, like fold. It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Spanish Sahara. That's like one of my favorite songs from Hot Chocolate Strange. Milk. Oh. Oh. Spanish Sahara. You're right now. Yeah. Chocolate milk and ginger. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, that's a good song on Hot Strange. Your drink is ready, sir. Friends. Who is my friend? Oh, she's two now. Hey. That's such an Instagram picture. <laughs> she's going. <cool. laughs> yeah. Oh, brew pad. Hey. Yeah, brew. Your drink is ready. Why was the camera focused on her, not him? Yeah. My, my, this is amazing. I'm glad you liked it. Dad, yes. Please go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good for nothing perp. Oh, is she dating him? He's going to help him become more Morris successful. Morris Lester. I know, Morris, he is not a good person. Industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how many, how my fans would treat me. And now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing. It's a bit dramatic. You're just too young to understand. She's 18, though. Oh, oh, oh! You approach me. Um, oh, we got the kuruduka. <laughs> they're Deal. making me understand because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing—not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I am sorry, but I'm trying. Okay, try harder, because right now. You're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but 
but I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch, Betty is. Of course, there are things I need to figure out, but we doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. That's true. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose some other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career right now. He's my best chance right now. <gasps> don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. Need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going home then? I don't know. I mean, clearly it's past midnight because the store only opens late night. Be staying at the hotel with the label provided, but that's... See ya, Dad. Oh, wait, Rachel. Oh, she took the coffee cup with her. <laughs> I'm taking this with me. I did that in one of my D&D campaigns. We went to a really fancy ball and my character just had a plate with cake on it and so she just walked out with the plate and the guards just didn't care. <laughs> so now occasionally I bring it out and my DM's like, I forgot you had that. Like, yep. So did the guards. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment, Dave Barista. Oh, bye. Oh, yeet. Drown your trouble in coffee. 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 I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yep, we were busy minding our own business. Unlike Freya. What you did, yeah, I know. What, you didn't hear that argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Dividing and focusing my attention Dividing so completely. <laughs> yeah, especially when there's an argument like that. <coughs> Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Uh, no. Nah. I, I was listening, I made I notes. notes. See, Vanya. you didn't even realise, but you were capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. You know, sometimes we don't even realise what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back to town now? Back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, day barista, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thanks for like the two minutes that you were here. Thanks for the drinks as usual. So they just like came in all their drink, scalded it down, and they're like, bye, I'm leaving now. Please take care on your way home. Bye-bye. Adios, amigos. Hmm, I guess that's all for tonight. Not yet. And the alien's back. Neil. Neil. Oh, oh Neil. Shit. Oh, you're back. <sighs> he brought his coffee cup back. How nice. Are you all right, sir? You got any gin? Sir? <laughs> Dave like reach out, pulls a huge bottle of whiskey, whiskey. on the table. Like, right. This is what I drink when I realise that my trust fund was all used up. The Irish coffee. Yes, yes, please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up <sighs> with Miss Rachel? No, we just argued. I lost her. Sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're alright. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes, did you like your tea? <laughs> Try your arguments with Miss Rachel. Something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Ha. Huh. Now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago when my daughter was born. It's actually two years ago before she was born. <laughs> Just we were welcoming, welcoming the beginning of the new millennia. Oh, Y2K. Mm. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. To think Y2K was just... Everyone was worried that the computer systems would just go down. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out the computers just continued. They just on. they just ticked over and just kept going. Everyone's like, oh, the Pikachu meme. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weird drawing. <laughs> the eyes. For those who don't know, we have a Pikachu meme very close to us. I might like post nice. it. Yeah, we'll we'll post it on our Twitter. Have a look if you're interested. Drawn by the awesome Mitch. Yeah, and then updated by Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> they were huge in the 90s, and they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. Decided to get married and settle down. Nice. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. 
the politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. Oh, yep. Yeah. Teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols to the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy this superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, families. And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me, it was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. Also, he's a cat. Mm. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. See, it's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time. And we still, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be all right by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. Mm. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Dave Barista. Man, what a cool cat. <laughs> and sorry for bringing our fight to your place. And don't worry about it. This place is pretty wax. <laughs> We yeah. haven't bought stuff, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. years ago, some dwarves beat up a vampire. <laughs> exactly. But, hey, wise guy, where you going? Alright then, goodbye. Boy. 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 Debris, like, can, I, can I close the store now? Neil. Oh, oh no. Okay. Bitter heart, shadows that will help you try to hide. Should we play Ginger. one more episode and then one more day and then call it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Nice. You want to hop up here, Mitch? Nah, it's okay. I'm comfortable on the couch. All right. <laughs> I like it. Also, I don't need to worry about the microphone. It's just sitting there. Look at that. So comfy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to take over or? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thursday, Thursday. October 1st. October uh, 1st. Is the game first? one year? Possibly. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Could be. When did we? When did the game start? I don't think it was January. I'll Google it. Um, when does Coffee Talk start? Let us continue. Okay, here we go. Couchella <laughs> organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. And the meme, like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I like that. Amazing. Uh, Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Couchella 2020. Hey. Uh, Gail Naiman and Maruki Horukami to collaborate for a new IP. Ooh. That kind of reminds me of like George Martin and... Uh, Neil Gaiman? Neil, oh, Neil Gaiman, is he? A, uh, Neil Gaiman is an author, I'm pretty sure, is the one who wrote Good Omens. Right. Okay, cool. And is he, like, doing anything in the video game space? I have no idea. That could be cool. I feel like there's a lot of uh, small references in here. All right, let's continue. Let's do it. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Neil, you come very early. To what if no, you no, just that's Dave Brewster talking. Brewster. Oh, okay, that's me. Oh, Neil, you come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is... Wait, there is definitely something that you can do. Yes. What is it? Can we work here? Oh, oh okay. No. Excuse me, Hell what? No. <laughs> is it possible for us to work here? No, get out of my coffee store. What, why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. Yep, that's the truth. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true, but it is not enough. It's never enough. For some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned, we learned them from, we learned them here. It has made us think. Instead of focusing on finding, and finding a breeding <laughs> partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. That's a good start, Get Neil. your priorities. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked, to, we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want us to inter... Because you want to interact... Wait, has... hang on, wait, this is Dave. Oh, they, they, because... the same colour. I'm a colour... Yeah, the colour person. 
Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job. If you get it at all. Oh. Let me think this over, if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. But it has to be today. Oh shit. May I know why? Because we are leaving he's for going him to, and he's going, he's going to, to catch Ella, isn't he? While, yeah. while you were out, Mitch, uh, yeah. an agent came in and was after an alien that people had seen. Apparently this uh, Neil is an illegal alien. Oh my he god. He doesn't have like the right applications to be here and Dave lied and said... Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, they said, oh yeah, he's in a space suit and Dave's like, well, wouldn't... It be, be like, wouldn't aliens be trying to blend in with us? Not be in a space. <laughs> yeah. The guy's like, you're right. <laughs> so that's what happened. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But <clears throat> with one condition, you won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you'll give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are a lot of there are other oh, things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come here just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. <coughs> That will be very hard for us, Tam right it will be. Indeed. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll give you a sign when you should start talking. <clears throat> or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit for the job? You need an apron. Not really. Black house. Yeah. This one, yeah. I'll lend you an apron though. Hey, there we go. To help keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation, <laughs> but it will make you look more legit for the job. That's a very earthly thing to do. It is. All right, then. <coughs> are you ready for this? We are. Dun, 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 dun. Do we get a scene with Training montage. <laughs> uh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Let's start the night. Here Shit. we go. Here we go. go. What if the men in black come back? Oh, I got a voice for him, don't worry. Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, great. I got a voice Neil. <laughs> the whole rest of this How day. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, let's do a different one for Freya this time. Uh, what the hell's happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Dave Barista, what's going on here? Uh, well, Neil is working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought this place would be ground zero. For an alien invasion? Ha! It's not that. Uh, Neil's just helping out. You never look like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering <laughs> Earth. In fact, it's the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since arriving, and we have come to we have came to the conclusion that before starting the search for a, wait before starting another breeding mission we should learn about how earthlings communicate this is a good call neil we should we thought this place was the best place to learn and, and that, you just agreed to this on one condition i make the drinks and you will only be here to serve and communicate <laughs> fair trade what's in it for you then what you're helping them here what do you get in return now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, I maybe you can be, the be my next. Of the universe, nothing more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can write an article about your work here, Freya. If I still need to write, pa if I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh, is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? In the elevator? Yes. 
The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift, and the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. Uh oh. The chief called me into her office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you gonna do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. <laughs> but we feel the immersed sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm <laughs> cup of drink? Hey, he's doing pretty good. He's doing all right. It is on the house. No. I <laughs> huh? You allowed to do that? We will, we will, we will pay for the drink. No. Excuse okay. me, party loaded. If you need to voice a robot alien spaceman from outside, you can come and do this yourself. Mitch, more Mitch <laughs> uh, It's on the house. My inspiration for this voice was Elon Musk. I probably shouldn't be like <laughs> leaning into this microphone, but yeah, here I am. Uh, hey, party loaded. Thanks for joining us. What's up? That was a nice thing to do, Neil. Oh shit. It's your go. I have a sound cue for Neil as well. Okay, go. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? Anything. That oh, was a bit too much inflection. I trust you with the decision. Oh shit, here we go. So okay. Anything, so let's so just So it looks like Neil is making together? the drinks tonight. Uh, let's have a also look. Also party loaded, what do you think of my couch? At the blue pad. Yeah, it's a yeah. it's a pretty cool couch. We've put, we put a lot of effort. Mitch has got an apron that matches the yeah. couch that Viv made. It's happening. Um, well, that's a good one. I don't know. I think we should just make one. One of these that we have already, or just experiment? Nah, make one up. Okay. What's our base? Coffee, green tea, tea, or choco powder? Uh, what about? You choose. Well, it's coffee. Coffee. Coffee talk. Coffee, ginger, ooh, interesting. Ooh. And lemon. Lemon. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Look how bitter it is. Yeah. You asked it's for it. It's warm wow, and nice. bitter. All right. You asked for anything, Freya, and plus you're kind of annoying, so Yeah. Oh, look, it's Neil's uh, hand. <laughs> Here we go. Here's your drink. Nice touch. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? God, Freya, attitude on you, please. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you so much for this. Oh wait, we're going back to Australia, damn it. Uh, I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks, but today I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines, and if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, that sounds doable, even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned, we have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, Oy. about all other races. All right, Neil, are we going to take this to like the weird place again? And we do not think infusing your blood <laughs> with coffee will be advisable. <sighs> it's like the person didn't someone try to inject like smoothie into their blood veins? They did not. Why? Today. What happened? I remember seeing that somewhere. Could be fake, but. Oh, look. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil, Freya wasn't serious about abusing herself with coffee. Oh. <laughs> we are glad to hear that, then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. Oh, no, it was... still very hard to understand your language. It was a thing. A woman nearly died after she injected a fruit smoothie directly into her veins in a way to stay healthy. Okay, okay, okay. Ew. It oh, will always be hard. Party loaded, maybe they want to shake things up. They're a bit kind of <laughs> very hey. nice. Uh, languages will keep on changing. Understood. Yeah, dude, you should look at languages today. I mean, look at- At least we are here you. now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. I gotta, I gotta bring back the uh, Elon Musk. Okay. Miss Freya. If we may ask something. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? <laughs> numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm, I don't think I have the exact number. But full time. 
I should be able to write between three and five thousand words per day. Dude, that's like Damn. an essay a day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words a th for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. <laughs> That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant, that is a pleasant, if oh, I read that correctly, that is a pleasant information to hear. <laughs> How many words do you need to write? Let's All of them. <laughs> see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems that it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> when when Neil I talks wish. about numbers, I'm just imagining the meme with all like the Is that maths. Is that him? And he's like, <laughs> zooms in. Writing isn't only about the number of words, silly. I'm gonna call you silly. Oh. <laughs> it requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large number of words. George R. R. Martin, what are you doing? Come on, <laughs> please, please, we're waiting, we're waiting for it. Man. Yeah, Freya can outdo you, man. Uh, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That's pretty hard to understand. But we've learned beforehand that art is a difficult master, even for earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. That's for damn sure, Neil. Yeah. Lang from languages to arts. Write again. But you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So is it still a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool. Yeah, cool, Neil. That's, that's, sounds like <laughs> cool. <laughs> that didn't sound like you at all, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Uh-oh, who's here? Is it the dude? Come on. Oh, no. I mean, yay, Myrtle, but you know, I was expecting... We were on the agent. We were expecting yeah. Agent K. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Nice. Okay. Coffee and und ein bisschen ginger und some milch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Das yeah. ist gut. Okay. Das ist gut. Alles okay. Oh, you might get to do art now. <gasps> no, oh, never mind. Or trash it or serve it. It's what happens if you trash it? You just get rid you of it. You start again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your order is Your ready. Your order is ready. Did you record my order properly? I'm pretty sure Neil can do that. Uh, we relayed the order properly. We swear we did not mess the oh, order up. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry, Miss Myrtle. It was my mistake. Please don't blame Neil for this. He's new. Huh. Did we lose friendship with her? I hope not. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Oh, shit. Whoops. Maybe it was coffee, what coffee, coffee you milk. What brings today, uh, Coffee, coffee, ginger then. Possibly. <gasps> But she didn't even drink it either. She just like had it in front of her. Yeah, then, I mean, yeah. yeah. Mm. Anyway, anyway. Anywho. Uh, what I'm brings still. you here today, Ms. Myrtle? Snail. Some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. <laughs> Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Yeah, you need to like, you need uh, to like. Pardon us. I was just training Neil in how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Huh? Uh, oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> Good catch, Neil. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen, which <laughs> essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try, step by step. Step by step. Uh, what is okay, one small step for you. <laughs> is one giant leap. Oh, Might there we go. One are. giant nice. leap for your kind. <laughs> but um, uh, Neil. Oh, that was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for just your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? 
Uh-huh. What's the occasion? A uh, special occasion. It's just... Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm sorry. I'm late. <gasps> I was supposed to leave early, but... What? What is this? Oh, yeah. I what is happening here? I already told it to start again. Come on, I'm going to break here. Where is Dave Barista? Miss Aqua. Oh, so was she the one who called the agent? Did she? Oh, she called the agent. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait, hit Y. We can, we can see. Where? Where? I already told the barista to call the cops when he said he, he was, was going, going to, to breed, breed here. here. Where is <laughs> Dave Barista? <laughs> Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Party Lotus said, Mitch, Pink Apron does not entitle you to start with the NKOTB tracks. What? <laughs> oh. I don't know what the NKOTB TB tracks is. Me neither. I don't understand. Elaborate, uh, Party Lotus. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. <gasps> Okay. Oh, new kids on the block. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I'm trying to be Elon Musk. Um, please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Dude, Dude. it's a shame we didn't have a coffee machine. We just make some coffee. Coffee. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. Wait, it, did we it give, is all right, Did we Zachary. give her water just then? Yeah. Then why is so her Everyone has been surprised steaming. to see me here. It's hot water. It's really hot uh, water. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording to answer this question. Oh, it's got humor. <laughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. Is it? You've been here like five minutes, dude. So here's the deal. Oh. Dave's just like, I didn't say you could have a break. He's out the front of the car. <laughs> oh, He's there my now. Gosh. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Dave Barista. It's nothing, really. It's nothing. It's nothing. You know. uh, but do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer yet. Neil, get out of here. I hate <laughs> voicing you. Go away, Freya. As if this place cares about business. Shut up. Besides, we want. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. Oh, good. Neil will leave, and I don't have to voice him anymore. Yeah. This coffee shop is a good start, but we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella. Man, Neil at Coachella. What? What? What are you gonna do at Coachella? According to our research, uh oh. There are many readings <laughs> no, happening during Coachella. I knew we were making oh progress God, with Neil, you. you. That's a Brett moment right there. Oh. Brett. This is exactly why we decided the event will be our next target. Neil, well, you're a stone well. cold atrocity. You're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We noticed this. I really think I really should have gone for Bill Hader's bird person voice for this. Do it. Just switch it. Switch it. <laughs> but we all wait. How does he? How does he sound again? Bill Hader's bird. Bill Hader's bird person voice. I don't know. I don't know. Bill. But we also noticed that we need to know a more a, need to know a lot more about Earthlings, including the breeding manners. And here we have <laughs> few people. It says that what we will wait, it is what we will study at Coachella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with many female earthlings. This dialogue is a nightmare! I shouldn't say this, but hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. You know what? It's probably gonna have a lot of success at Coachella. I reckon. Probably will. And at then Coachella, there's gonna be like sorry. a whole bunch of weird space babies everywhere. God, we know. I don't even wanna think about it. He drinks through his all... finger! We are also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya. Let us stop talking about our plan. <laughs> we work were... here today. Oh my god. Enough, Neil. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. For... Oh, oh, okay. Bye. Oh my god. I keep voicing Neil. Oh, wait, no, he's still there. Oh, okay. So our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. So he's behind the counter. Okay, he's behind the counter again. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing here together? Uh, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know. 
Yeah, whatever. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Remember? Yes, yes, that's it. No, she thought, oh, Aqua thought she was on a date. Oh, uh, I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Oh, her Someone's phone's flashing red. Yes, but I never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. So I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today, I wanted to thank her directly by asking her out. <laughs> but she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But... Wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. Oh. It should be your, not your. Oh, so you are <laughs> correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue. Okay, I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down. Oh, no, no, no. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So you're done with your game? There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix, but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game, but in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing, control, and UI says so user interface. Huff. <laughs> it must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It surely removes some of the weight on my chest, just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. <laughs> and if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. She's gonna live here, like, if it doesn't work out. If she does like that, it's gonna be like, I'm out. Just, yeah, you take over. <laughs> it's fine. I gotta see my wife and kid. And yeah. <laughs> I'm my sorry. kids are grown up. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Freya, but please be more confident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. Wait, I'm doing the voices wrong now. I read some of your short stories, you know, after our first meeting. I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app, and then I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know? Some of them are better than others, but it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. Well, I just went, you're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through, she's, it's more she's or less Texas the same <laughs> as what uh, Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. <sighs> You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know. Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share it with other people. I really am sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. <laughs> Huffed, Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. Mm. I've been working on something for two years straight, but no one outside the office knows about it, and those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. Ah, uh, what's well, I keep forgetting a voice now. Uh, I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes? I don't really work on them, not directly. So, what do you work on? This sounds like a Pixel Sift podcast episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a secret project. I'll tell you under uh, Friendier. Nice. Nice. All right, I'm not with the paper anymore anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP, or worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? Heh, that's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write for years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful get approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others when they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the seven samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized. 
What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? She's gonna ask her out. No. Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. She's like, I can do this. <laughs> yes, that's why. You need a vacation. Come on, one with me. But I can't just take one. Yeah, you can. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is. I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. I love it. So you cute. You will. I'm going with you for this long weekend slash vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey. Okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. All right. Oh, I'm so ex I'm so excited. <laughs> wow, Aqua. <laughs> you look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. She takes her glasses off. You're a different person. Ha 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 ha! Don't be. <laughs> Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. And prepare for our getaway. She's like, yeah. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May oh, you I find forgot Neil joy still during your vacation. <laughs> Damn right, yep. you wish, Neil. Goodbye. Come on, agent. Okay, see you folks later. Okay, agent. Ciao. Bye. <clears throat> Vacation, huh? Vacation. You definitely need I one, Freya. Be. I know, but not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we've said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Depends on when you get out of here. <laughs> Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with? Still in the house. I definitely won't say no. Did we get to uh, make, make it? it? Nope. Okay. Cool. I think that is a good place to end it for tonight then. All right. Nice. Nice. It was nice getting back into coffee talk. It's been a yes. while. It's been eight Months, roughly. This seems to have been eight months. Seven, eight years. Seven, oh yeah, you're right, seven-ish. But still, a long time. A very long time. A lot has happened since then. But yeah, this was Coffee Talk by Toke Productions. If you want to find more out about the game, we spoke to one of the developers, Chris, back on episode 139. So you can check out our website and a few other things that are on there. Yeah. Yeah, so we will pl we're going to continue playing this. Are we... Playing next week? Oh, next fortnight? No, or? Um, next week is an episode. Yeah, so, so the week after? after that? The week after, yeah. Yes. We will continue. So we'll be back in two weeks, but next week we'll be back with an episode at 5.30. Yeah, and if you want to catch this show live mm -hmm. on Thursday, um, visit twitch.tv forward slash pixelsift, um, where you can hit the heart there button, the follow button, and you get a notification when we go live. Yeah. Well, thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.